Does anyone actually know what's going on here? I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, <laughs> We're 20 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever's anniversary. Oh, my oh. God. Our one-year anniversary, you guys. Happy birthday, oh. bitch. Happy birthday to us. I We're know. grown one year. I know. One. We're, one. We're one. We did it. We did it. We did it, Joe. <laughs> we <laughs> did, did it, it Joe. Joe. We did it. Can you believe? I I can. It honestly feels like it's been longer. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I feel like I can't imagine not doing this. So okay, it's too. honestly weird to me that it's only been a year. I'm like, this is just how it's always been. Right. Mm-hmm. I right. always sit down with Ryan and Paloma once a month and we talk for like 12 hours. <laughs> right. Right. A part of me also feels the same way where I'm like, I feel like it's gone by so fast because it's just like we have so much fun and it goes by so quickly. Right. But also part of me feels like, wait, we've been doing this for, for like, I can't remember when we weren't doing this. Like, right. this is what yeah. we do. So I totally hear that. I feel that. But I, like, to me, I'm like, I remember, I just remember vividly all of the before the podcast, like, officially started. Like, I remember mm. all the meetings we were having yes. and like, I remember doing the photo shoot and like, all that stuff is so vivid that I'm like, we just did that. Like, we oh were just gosh. doing that I stuff. know. So it's weird that we're like, already at the one year mark in a year from that photo shoot which gosh we had such a good time Uh, on that set that was like we literally were just like dancing yeah like the whole time yeah 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 Yeah. that that i think genuinely set the tone for what this was gonna be oh yeah do you remember all those tiktoks we filmed we did so many so (laughs) the orange soda one oh that was so good the uh what's the other kardashian one we did go on for a second yeah, i'm gonna, gonna get a solo shot, a solo <laughs> shot. <laughs> my sisters are so annoying or whatever it is so good oh good times great times and we're gonna be so nostalgic i know <laughs> we can't i'm still honestly blown away at how good the photo that we got for our uh cover art is for our youtube channel oh my god yeah where it's like you guys having the tea party and i'm like serving the tea and it's like spilling in the wind and but also, tony just killed it remember how kind of chaotic that shot was to get yes because you were I like trying to literally pour. falling yes. and your shoes were like high, like high platform yes. i remember so she was like trying to balance to yes. do like the pour that just reminded me do you remember how we ended up doing that Mm-hmm. I took off one shoe. Oh, yeah. Because I was pop, I, and that's why I, I had to lean so much as I was trying to pop my foot so, so it looked g- like I was so falling. We could, and so we could see your shoe, shoe pop. Yes. yes. So I took off the sh- the heel on the sh- foot I was standing on. Right. And then I had the other foot just like all the way up. And it turned out so it good. It turned out so and good. She's gorgeous. I'm looking at it right now. Look at it. There it is. Oh, uh, it's Lovely. so cute. Also, the props, everything. God, that was so, oh, uh, that was so good. I mean, our album cover. Stun. Yeah. Like, in like choosing that, do you guys remember like being together? You guys were together. We were oh, at yeah, we Clamor. were at Clamor. That's right. And we had you like on the phone over yeah, FaceTime. Yeah, we were over FaceTime and we were like yeah. going through all the pictures together and like finalizing and yeah. finalizing. But there were so many gorgeous ones uh, yeah all of them were so good shout out to uh our photographer tony mo yes, yes. Shout out to shout tony. Out tony. 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 we'll link him in the description and yes. shout out olivia for the amazing yes. oh my makeup. god and shout out jess for all of the for like all of the things everything, everything forever <laughs> and kenzie assisting as well oh like, yeah and, and, Jayden. Jayden. and J- we had like oh, we had the crew the we had whole the crew. team yeah. really maybe oh. we should post some of the because we have so many behind the scenes shots that oh, never yeah. we, we also have vlogs so we'll we can link those vlogs you vlogged i vlogged that day yeah i think we also even have like a clip of like it wrapped and Sierra being like, I'm so happy. And like, we hugged. Oh and God, I was like, yeah. ah. you know, when, oh whenever you want to like a good cry. And that's, that, that's And then we <laughs> went to dinner that night. We did. Oh, oh that was just, and you, you gave us a speech when that was did cute. I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You did. And I was crying in yeah. the front row. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Well, there's so much to talk about. Uh, obviously the first thing I want to ask is like, what has been everyone's favorite episode? I mean, this is our 47th episode. Yeah. I think I have a three that come to mind for different reasons, which is so annoying to be like, what's your favorite episode? No, Here's right. three. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. We're so great. I can't pick one. Right. The truth or drink. Of course. <laughs> that was legendary. So fun. So I, good. I think we maybe need to do one like every year. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> well, we've hit our one year mark, so I it's know. maybe time yeah. in about yeah. six or so months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not really strangers. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was a good one. one. Deep. That was a good one. And uh, the bikini body episode. Oh, Ooh. yeah. All yeah. three of those just really hit for me. And yeah. it was really amazing, too, to see like the audience response from those. Yeah. I think all three of those for different reasons, like. I just felt this this strong sense of community and that what we are building, not just together and like the four of us in this room, but also like with you guys, with our viewers was mm-hmm. like something so special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And obviously it's different for the truth or drink and that we're not really strangers. Right, yeah. right. But both of those to me show like 
why I love what we do here Mm -hmm. is that it's not just super serious all the time but it's not just like fun goofy girly giggles all the time it is both Mm -hmm. yeah and I love that which I also feel is like a very clear representation of our friendship like we Mm -hmm. do have like very serious chats and like we're getting deep and we're crying but we're also on the other half of things like cracking up crying like throwing ourselves on the ground giggling like <laughs> yesterday yesterday, lunch yesterday losing our absolute mind falling to the ground it was crazy <laughs> collapsing collapsing <laughs> what about y'all favorite uh, episode i feel like a truth or drink of course that was just so so fun i also loved a valentine's day episode when we read the horror stories <gasps> oh my yes! god i that, love that one. Oh, Ooh, that was just that was juicy kiss. we probably, I love that one no offense but i want to hear your guys's tea again so we're yeah, gonna that, do another yeah. juicy episode yes because y'all have some tea i was living <laughs> living for it i know we also we're not supposed to do three but you did three so yeah. i'm gonna do three <laughs> um and then i think i really love i also i love the bikini body one but i also really loved the um 20 things i we learned in our 20s yeah loved that episode because mm-hmm. i felt like for me, like personally, sitting there and like really thinking and reflecting was like a lot. Mm-hmm. But then coming to the coming to the couch and then hearing you guys and all of your things, it was like, oh, this is so good. Like if I was my my age, but if I was like younger, this would be like just everything. And those, those are my faves. Aww. I mean, I love all the episodes we do. They're just all great. We are fantastic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, was, I love us. I was yeah. like, I was going to name all six of those. Yeah. Oh, right. But in addition to those heartfelt ones that have truly like made me feel so like not alone and just mm-hmm. like I don't know being on this couch and chatting with you and just like these conversations we've had have impacted me in such a huge way and I will keep if I keep talking I will cry and you know mm-hmm. that so I'm just to say those those ones were just all the ones where we really got into like the deep shit that happens when you're 20 and mm-hmm. like we all are like oh I thought I was only going through this and you're like no babes no, it's, it's same thing but us. different font yeah. right so those of course, but in true fashion of Halloween, the Halloween episode. <gasps> of course, How of course. How did we not mention that? Like, no, I, the I, costumes. I knew, I knew you were going to say the that. The costumes, yeah. the vibes, just talking uh, about all of it. And yeah. I feel like we get to be extra, extra goofy at that time when right. we're like dressing up and really getting into uh, it. So like yeah. that was like my fave time. So I'm really looking forward to this year's Halloween. Yeah, what yeah, we're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> was also our first viral TikTok. Oh my god, the Cheetah Girls one. That is so Uh, true. And your first sponsor was the Cheetah Girls episode. Oh my god, Helix. With Helix. Yeah, that's my favorite episode. I was so proud of you guys and you all jumped in and like you guys did such a fantastic job and it came so naturally. Yeah. And you were just so excited. And then Sierra, when we were filming TikTok, spilled gasoline all over herself. (laughs) I got a phone call that's like, what happens if you spill gas on your leg? And I was like, where are you guys? And I couldn't change because I was in the Cheetah Girl outfit. I was like, I'm not about to... And thank goodness I didn't because I know it went viral. It, yeah. I don't thank God. I well, thank God. You guys had to. Do you almost next... burned your leg off, but yeah. whatever. Yeah, we went viral on TikTok. I remember at one point she's like, "It is tingling a little bit." I don't yes. know if it's like in my head or if I know, it's like actually I know. Well, she was like, "She was like, I think maybe this maybe should be the last take because my leg is starting to feel weird." And I'm we like, were like, "All right, okay, <laughs> let's wrap this shit up. We have to go." And that was also the same day I kicked the phone out of your hand. <laughs> yes, and we choreographed that in the alley because we weren't planning on actually dancing. We were gonna like solo sing each line yes and then we were like we were just gonna kind of like strut towards the camera and then like lip sync and then we were like well let's just choreograph something real quick right and in like a minute we were like okay we're gonna do this this this." (laughs) yeah shout out to us ladies for choreographing learning and dancing that thing and then going viral with gasoline legs and broken phones Mm. (laughs) shout out to us and people trying to drive through the alleyway (laughs) also yeah we had to stop every few seconds to move for a car oh what a time yeah okay I love the Halloween episodes. Oh my God! Remember when we went to the beach? The Katy Perry show has <laughs> sharks. Yes, yes. And those and that um that mom was like, "What are you guys doing? What's like, for? what's this for? Like, what are the we internet. doing? The, the internet always. That's like, if anyone is ever doing something weird in public, it's probably always for the internet. Yes. Like yeah. at this point, we, the assumption is it's probably for TikTok. Which can I admit? I feel like there is also a level of people are like now so aware that people are always shooting that like now it's not as weird. Like if you right, see like, right. like like if you respectfully like if i'm walking down the street in downtown la if someone's like dressed up like voldemort like you know that girl that goes <laughs> right. around and like i'm not looking i'm like you're oh. like oh i'm like she's famous L- let me find her uh, like you <laughs> right, know let me i'm like do you need these bts I'm like, clips <laughs> like let me you know what i mean like me trying to get in the content yeah, i'm like yeah, yeah. oh my I'm god like, yes oh. get like something so i can get <laughs> to- no totally tag my imdb yeah <laughs> um you know like yeah. i'm not thinking anything of it and i feel like right. even people at like disneyland like when you give them their cups because like you're shooting now they're like right they're, they're even like, like posing and they're 
they're like what's your favorite thing they're like my favorite like they're so like at this point mm-hmm. prepped for that yes. kind of stuff and yeah. i love that as a content creator <laughs> i i also do love that it takes yeah. the awkwardness away mm-hmm. i was actually talking with someone about that yesterday i was like you know I, when i first started doing youtube in 2015 the amount of times i had to like go into like a whole spiel about like what it is to be a content creator right, right. i don't think i've had to explain to someone like what i do as an influencer in a couple years yeah yeah you it's know? like widely known yeah, yeah. which yeah. is strange yeah yeah but cool yeah, yeah yeah and probably like maybe i don't know if it feels better but like at least you know that people understand what you're doing now mm-hmm. yes versus like having to do the whole thing and then still be like so what do you do yeah. you're like because people oh look God. anyways people watch anyways but there's like a right. difference of looking like people look in confusion or like being like what judging. is going yeah like yeah. the judgingness and you can feel that and i feel like there's less judgment now yeah, they're like yeah, man yeah. they're always recording whatever we've seen that or yeah they are judging because they're like, God, everyone is like, yes, just stop. That. Everyone's got their phones out. That happened during the Skims outfit. The, during the Skims shoot, we were taking those photos and remember that oh girl was God. like, look at those girls. They think that they're so cute and like whatever, oh, but they're like, the and I was like, I was yeah. like, girl, we're here just taking like, photos, fine, but you know what? Fine. You know, and that happens. Like, yeah, it happens. Yeah. The girls over there girling. The girls I know, I get it. We're so annoying. I know. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that brings up a, an interesting point. I know, you know, Ryan, you've been in the social media sphere for long before the podcast. But Paloma, this was kind of your first time, like, putting yourself out there online. And yeah. now it's been a year. What's that been right. like for you? Um, I have gotten out of my own way and it feels amazing. I feel like so I kind of feel empowered. And I don't know if that's the Ooh. correct word, but I, I, I do. I feel like. I'm like, I can do this and I want to do this. And before there was just so many other voices of like, oh, but this, but that. And now I'm like, but you know what you want and just stand for it and live, laugh, love. Yeah. So <laughs> now I am excited to shoot my content. And if I see someone looking at me, I'm like, subscribe. Like that is it. Right. And that's what I'm running with because if not, I'll be so sad regretting I didn't get the shot or I didn't do the content. Right. And I right. know that it will it will be like that. So yeah. now I'm like full send. I yeah. love that. Me Thank too. You so and much. that's like so freeing. Yeah. It was. Oh, wait. Actually, can I tell you one thing that yeah. I, I remember during Christmas time? So it was Vlogmas and oh. I wanted to do the, like this Starbucks run. And obviously, if I'm going to Starbucks during holidays, I need the holiday cup because like right. it's the holiday cup. Right. And so the, the gentleman gave it to me and like some other thing because he like oh this that and the fourth and i went up to him and i was like oh thank you and then i was like looking at the cup and i was like oh shit like i just came to pick up three coffee cups that don't look like christmas like that's the point right. and i was in the starbucks and then i was like i have to get this shot though i'm just gonna ask this gentleman like if i can have the cups but never in my past would i i would have just been like oh well it's okay fine 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 right but i was like committed to the vision and i went up to him and i was like excuse me sir this is for a project and my boss quite literally will kill me if i don't get the christmas cup so can i please get the christmas cups and he was like oh my god absolutely baby do you need like a bag too and i was like yeah. so he was understood that i needed for for my work and he he got right. me all the cups and I was like all I had to do was like ask and be like I need this um, also her boss being herself her. <laughs> yeah my boss like, will literally kill me if I don't get this shot right now and I was not lying so mm, yeah mm-hmm. yeah I love that and it's been so cool to see you like fully just kind of like relax into this space and mm-hmm. like hearing you talk on the podcast you're so comfortable and you're so open and then like honestly isn't encouraged me to like be more vulnerable and be more open for I mean with both of you guys it's been really empowering for me to do this with you guys and just see how open you are and and how powerful what you share is and it's really inspired me and helped me relax on camera Mm. because I think for a while especially with the main channel stuff I get so into the like hey guys I'm da 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 in like the what we call the telephone voice Uh right uh right uh right and I feel like on the podcast there's truly like no difference and when we cut and when we (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. it's like these are the same conversations we have off camera yeah and it's kind of like in a way allowed me to like fall back in love with youtube oh wow i just got oh my god oh that's so beautiful i know damn oh that was just (laughs) that was beautiful (laughs) okay All right. You know, I think now that it's been a year, we really do need that day- episode since we since cried. We cried. Yes. Please. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. No. I'm going to order it on <laughs> Etsy. <laughs> please. Please. Yeah, for our one year, we have to get the counting board because this can't go this on for another cannot. year. <laughs> I feel that, though. I feel like there's definitely been a, you use the word, a, a relaxation moment that has happened with me. Um, and I kind of feel that with all of us, but just speaking from personal experience, I remember like especially at the beginning because you were so new I was like I 
need to like have my game face on because I don't want Paloma to feel stressed out. And like Sierra's fine. She knows what she's doing. I don't have to worry about Sierra. She's, she's good. But I'm like, Paloma like needs to know that I'm okay. So she could be okay. And <laughs> truly, I, and I truly. felt, and I remember being like, okay, just like do it right. Say everything correctly. Like do the thing. You got it. And then like the layers started peeling off, mm -hmm. like the deeper we got and just like the more, open we were together like as a collective I felt myself being like okay I don't need to I don't need to be good so everyone else can be good that's not my job while I'm here to like it's you with me like, <laughs> but like it yeah. was hindering me from being as open and vulnerable as I wanted to be on the podcast and and also I feel like with the way I was like moving in my own content was pretty like rigid I was like I, it needs to look like this and do like that and the podcast doesn't really have structure we kind of just vibe and I was like I need to take that and apply that to my content and just kind of hang out mm -hmm. and you started getting super comfortable and I was like okay and we all really got into like the groove like we all feel really good here and we all know what we're doing and that like was a huge like just like kind of wake up call for me to be like okay everyone's relaxed like you can just chill out like you can just show up as yourself just, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and that was really big that was really big and to cry on the internet i know girl that's like, that's like actually, a lot that's i'm really proud like of you i'm so serious like Thank truly you. truly so immensely proud of you for being so vulnerable and opening up period yeah period much less on line mm -hmm. like thank just you. in general <laughs> yeah you know thank you, thank yeah, you yeah absolutely yeah it's been a it's been a time so I would hope to not cry any longer, but you know, if it happens, I'm okay with it now. I'm go. okay if it does happen. It's all right, but it won't. Anyways. <laughs> God, I really think like a moment I will never forget is when like we were sitting here and you were talking about like just how much it means for like us to like believe in you and you like reached oh, yeah. your hand out. And oh, we, like, my God, yes. oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. And then yes. I saw the tears yes. coming and I was like, oh. Yes. I will like actually never, like I don't even remember what it looked like in the episode. I remember in my brain, like, this right view right yeah yeah i remember that too that was a lot yeah that was too oh. much i can't i uh, literally i'm so can't. proud of us you guys I know. and it's all because of you guys too so yeah. thank you guys so much for being here and commenting and, and giving us love us. and supporting yeah. us wow yeah yeah and should we get we have some audience questions should we get into those yes Ooh, yes let's yes. get into it so we asked you guys we were like oh we're celebrating you know our one year get a little q a action going if you want to be a part of the group chat and send us literally anything or be a part of the conversations we're having on uh, uh, some of the episodes you can text us at 917-810-3045 okay our first message is from sarah and ollie it says in parentheses uh and it's a question for each of us so paloma as a foodie what is the one food you crave above anything else oh <laughs> i already know let me collect myself <laughs> it has to be a taco yeah i right. know i know right. i know i know but I'm talking like a taco de pastor with a little chunk of pineapple mm. with a little bit of green salt, like that avocado green sauce and like onions and cilantro. And on the side, there's like a jalapeno to bite on and like a radish. And there's also extra limes just to extra sauce it up. Just like that, baby. Like that. Please. Period. <laughs> exactly like that. Shit. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Ryan, if you, if you met Kenny Ortega tomorrow, uh -huh. what would you talk to him about? Elevator first bitch, of what all, are you saying? First of all, I would be like, Mr. Kenny Ortega, King Kenny, you are the reason I am here today. Um, respectfully, because High School Musical changed my life. This, like, you really did some things. Your mind. Sir. Like, you were just so talented, and I am so grateful to be in your presence. Like, please t tell me. Say it. Literally, if you could give me one piece of advice, what would you give me? Mm. That's what I would say. Ooh, Ooh, some advice. Yeah. Because he has seen it all, done it all. Yeah. You're like, look, I'm a big fan of your work. All of it. All of it. So through <laughs> like, Slide him the resume while you're at it. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, girl. Yeah, actually. You're, and absolutely. I also am an actress. I'm also singer, an actress, singer, dancer, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you need me to be. Mm -hmm. I can also be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. For Jess... Uh, what is your favorite part of your job? Ooh, okay. That's I have a one. lot of favorite parts of my job, but I have to say, like, I laugh the hardest. You guys don't get to see it, unfortunately. But you guys are nuts right before we start. Every time we cut, they just, like, you'd think they'd be quiet in the breaks. They are not. <laughs> not at all. And they are just, they're going off. They're singing jingles. They're doing all sorts of shit. And it's so funny and so distracting. 
So you guys really, like, the moments that I cherish the most are you guys doing unfounded shit off camera <laughs> in the, like, minute between where we cut. I it's, love It's that. wackadoodle time. It's wackadoodle, wackadoodle time. time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then uh, Sarah and Ollie also had a question for me. They said, Sierra, if you could pick any single life event that you are looking forward to watching Grace experience in the future, what is it? Oh, my God, cute. That's so good. What a great question. I know. It's not so much as a life event as like a I will know that I have like parented her well. I am genuinely looking forward to when she is old enough that we can have, you know, conversations about like deep topics, like political things, social things, and she can correct me. Mm. I think that is like one of the most amazing, powerful things. And that's something that I have been fortunate enough to experience with my dad especially and my dad has said that his favorite stage is right now because of the conversations we can have and how much it means to him that like I can explain things to him and like open up his viewpoints and I just like that meant so much to me as a child being on the parent end of that for like you know all, all I really want is to like raise a happy healthy like emotionally intelligent kid Mm -hmm. who is empathetic and passionate and kind and if someday I can instill that in her enough that she can then come to me and say well actually mom like let me tell you a little bit more about like this thing or let me open up your mind a little bit more to this topic or we don't say it this way anymore Mm -hmm. right yeah I will be like, I've raised you right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're like, pat on the I'm back. I'm like, you, I want, I, I'm looking forward to those times when she can educate me mm-hmm. and we can like grow together. Wow. You and Steve are going to, Grace is going to be like, guys, like we don't, we don't like, you know, this thing, this thing. And you and Steve are going to be like, <laughs> yeah. we, we did, did that. It. Yeah. <laughs> That's obviously way far off. I think also like I weirdly look forward to like her first day of kindergarten. Oh my god. Like uh, that's like special. Like, yeah, that yeah. is not weirdly. That is yeah. no that's so that that's, that's gonna be so cute. Literally gonna take us all out and I I know. Good luck j- to all I, of us. I, I know. I'm like I know. <laughs> and well, I selfishly enough I'm like, can you record well, it? I'm like, I'm like the us. whole team is gonna like be in the bushes, Woo! like yeah. go great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's so lucky to like to have you guys to like have mm-hmm. this amazing like team of women like around the house all the time of like like all all of her aunts essentially yeah. you know and like uh. she just loves you guys and I, the podcast days she like i tell her like days leading up i'm like ryan and paloma are gonna be here ryan and paloma are gonna be here <laughs> yeah. she loves you guys and like the amount of times every day that she says jess <laughs> right jess 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 she had her little doodle board yesterday she was like drawing and i'm like what are you drawing she's like jess just sitting just walk just smile just look like uh, she drew dress like 30 times in different <laughs> scenarios right right <laughs> me too what a queen i know love her <laughs> okay this is from corinne what is your co-host's beige flag <laughs> first of all i love this tiktok trend yes. i think it's so funny okay hmm Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think your base flag. <laughs> I was so All quick. Right, well, you. <laughs> anyway, know. she's like, I, I can pick out a list. Thing. I know. I'm like, hmm. I don't already have a list of things. <laughs> um, I think your beige flag is that you really do like tear up. More. I'm not gonna say you cry a, tear a, often, but mm-hmm. you tear up at almost anything. I know it is so <laughs> almost anything. And I look over and I'm like, Are you crying? And you're like, No. I'm like, Right, but you got a little. You got a little some building up here. I cannot you know? control it. <laughs> beige flag because the the crying is a red flag for me. But they said beige. So. The twel- the the tear starts swelling up. We're just like in the middle of breakfast or something. Just looks over. It's my such a beautiful just- waffle. <laughs> like, yes. yes. I'm sorry that I can take a moment to appreciate all the beauty, and it overwhelms me because I'm just so. What's that word when you're like, when you take that moment? Dramatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm with you, P. She's a hater. <laughs> Thank hater. you. That's, that's, her, that's beige her beige flag. flag. <laughs> the, I read the question. It wasn't for either of you to She's answer. Like, nobody asked. <laughs> yeah, no one asked either of you, but thank you for that. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> See now I'm scared. Flag. Let me think. Let me think. Mm. I feel like I know what it's going to be. Do you? I think it's going to be that I never respond to texts. <laughs> But I always respond on Slack. You do respond on Slack. Period. Because it's on my computer. No, yeah. no. I have your beige okay. flag. Your beige flag is we have TikToks planned. We know what we're doing. 
the day comes in she's like well i found this one or five <laughs> and i think maybe we should do all five and we're like bro this is why we have a schedule base flag you're so right and i like literally it'll be the morning of i'm doing my makeup like scrolling tiktok yes. and i'm like oh, oh perfect oh, perfect <laughs> And we just added it. We show up and we're like, okay, this is the schedule. And Sierra's like, right. But I did find this one TikTok that I think would be super good. And then we're like, God damn. all right. They, they usually are good. No, they're great. They're, they're great. great. That's why it's a beige flag. Uh, yeah, that's why it's a beige flag. But it's if not I a red could flag. send them maybe more than 30 minutes in advance. That would be a green flag. Hey, if but... the algorithm could give them to you I, earlier. Right. If she would have seen it sooner, she would have sent it sooner. No, stop this. <laughs> stop, stop making excuses. Okay? That is my beige flag. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Jessica doesn't have any beige flags. She only has green flags. And that's a period. I, I am beige. <laughs> that's a lie. I'm very, very white. No, can I say Jessica's beige flag? Yes, we were talking yes, about yes. it this morning. She will post me at Starbucks to the house before she gets here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, Jess isn't even in the office yet. And I, like, open the front door and there's Jess at Starbucks. And you're like, mm, Jess is on her way. I'm like, all right, she's cool. She's on her way. If, she's if I don't have time, I'll do it when I leave my house. Yeah. And it, <laughs> right. it's about the same distance. And so usually they just beat me here. Yeah. Listen, they really do. Efficiency, bro. Oh. And then sometimes Stephen will blame me for it. He's like, did you, did you like post made Starbucks again? I'm like, oh, oh no, it, I was no I it wasn't me. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> Sip my coffee. <laughs> right. But then sometimes ours will arrive at the same time. Right. And you're opening the door and Jess is like, hey. Oh my God. I have like a moment of panic when I, when I get here and it's not here because you or Stephen are like nice and bring it in. <laughs> Right, and I I panic a little because Sierra will sometimes get a uh, impossible breakfast sandwich, and I always get like a bacon gouda egg, and I'm like, oh no, what if she doesn't look and she eats the meat? <laughs> right, <laughs> this, that was fun. <laughs> I could, we'll do a whole, a whole episode about beige flag. Base Should flag. we do like a roast or something? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can handle it. Some uh, you guys can write in your beige flags and we can react. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Are there beige flags about us? us. Yeah. They're millennials, but they act like Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> That's somebody's red flag, bro. That's somebody's red flag. Okay, your turn. All right. Next one we have from Elizabeth. How do you guys handle any disagreements or differences of opinions regarding the podcast? Easy. We all have one brain. Right. We, we all share none. one brain. So. I have mine. Um... I feel like we just kind of like hear each other out. Like if there, it, I don't think it really gets to like a disagreement. It's like, oh, maybe it's just like, oh, I don't see that point of view. And then right. you're like, oh, but this. I feel like it's less of a disagreement and more of like, how can we elevate the Co idea that you already have? Yeah. Yes. It's like improving on each other's ideas. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all of us usually want the feedback. I don't think any of us are yeah. like, my idea is perfect and right it's right work. yeah right. we all usually come to the table with like hey i have this idea what do you guys think and then the other two other three can like build on it yeah i think it's that you guys are too accommodating oh. like to each other to the point where <laughs> oh. like I, I don't think it's like people pleasing but you'll be like like you are so deeply concerned about not 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 hurting each other's feelings you want the job done you want a job done well but like you will uh be like oh but but we don't have to like if it if it Right. I feel like you pad it a little and then you all are like immediately on board and then we have to do like a minute of like no 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 like we don't we don't have uh, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like we just for the damn thing yeah, we yeah. want to make sure everyone's confident and comfortable all the time yeah it's here. Beige, but, flag. Beige, flag. beige flag but also I feel like majority of the time I would literally say 95% of the time we all are on the same page yeah. yes yeah. we're all like oh this thing oh my god I was totally thinking that too yes send yeah. it yeah. that's like majority of the time it's i feel really like like 99 yeah like, like, 99, really... like we're all pretty much here on yeah. the same page yeah and any t like literally every idea you guys have i'm like that is genius, genius. like let's yeah. do it let's do so, it yeah <laughs> i feel the same yeah. literally yeah and i love that for us and i am very grateful because i'm aware that that is not everybody's reality yeah and especially working with their friends i'm sure that it's like rough in other places so yeah. i'm glad that we are cool honestly th this could have been a dumpster fire it really <laughs> You are not tea. wrong. Our friendships could have been ruined. Tea. Yes. T, that happens. It totally yeah. does happen. Yeah. Like, we have a good idea, and then we do a thing, and it's like, meow, meow, it, like yeah. it's cats. Yeah. Could, could be like, like the girls on, on set for Cheetah Girls, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That's so know. tea. They're... Listen. I don't know. I promise it's not like that. We are just... Not here. <laughs> I was going to say not here. Yeah, we we're chilling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is from Faith. Very short and sweet. Okay. FMK. Guess, bet you can guess what that stands for. High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. 
Oh, fuck Mary, fuck Mary Kill. Okay, period. High School Musical 1, 2, Oh, three. my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. I don't think this is as hard. I don't think it's that hard. I, but I. But go ahead. Okay. I am going to marry High School Musical 2. I do think it's the best. Period. I hate to do it because I love that it is a cinematic masterpiece, but I am going to kill High School Musical 3 just because I, I can't do that to High School Musical 1. Like, without 1, there mm-hmm. is no 2 and 3. Right. So I am going to marry High School Musical 2, fuck High School Musical 1, and uh, sorry, High School Musical 3. I love you, though. I fully disagree. Wow. You're totally fucking High School Musical 3, huh? I'm fucking High School Musical 3. Yeah. And you know what? And you know why? High School Musical 3 has the bells, the whistles, and the budget. They are getting it done. I'm fucking High School Musical 3, okay? I, you're right. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> but there is no High School Musical 3 without High School Musical 1. So right. are you going to marry High yeah, School Musical 1? But yeah, that's like marrying? a fake scenario. Like, that's not what the question, though. That's a, like, that's not what we're doing <laughs> Then here. who are you getting rid of? Let's hear it. Oh, High School Musical 1. Oh, that. Dude, I, but I agree that High School Musical 2 is the best one, and I that, that's a safe bet. Like, that's, that marry. marriage is going to yeah. go till, till we die. Well, yeah. then till safely, the I can give up High School Musical 2. You guys can have I'm so sorry. I, I, wow. Because uh, kill uh, I uh, guess me off my li- y'all guys can have. I kill? take back our answer about not having disagreements because this yeah, is a because crime this might, against humanity. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say. And yeah. it really is just I want to fuck High School Musical three because bells and whistles and yeah. and marry the OG because that's always been there for me and, and I, I, and I think you. that's okay. And it just feels like two. I I understand. Like I get it, you guys. I really do. But bro, bet on it. You're gonna get rid of. You're I gonna don't get- dance. <clears throat> the original the, the gay, gay anthem. anthem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When they switch clothes. What? Okay. I know we we simply have already talked about this, but why? Why did they switch clothes? I think we know why. Sure. But like. Did the you guys sexual catch- tension when they're swinging those bats? I think there were other things swinging. <laughs> Bro. There was definitely other shit swinging. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I just have a question. Did you guys yeah. realize that their clothes were swapped back when we were kids? The only I thing I noticed was the hat switching. Yes. I didn't okay, notice the, the clothes. I didn't notice the clothes either. But until that, and, I grew until up. Gl- and I was like, oh, so them. they really fucking. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? Also, really Paloma, yeah. you're getting rid of Gotta Go My Own Way. Bro, you what are you doing, dog? <sighs> All right, you guys. I what think it would be a it? great idea if I married number two and got rid of one. And yeah, right? What so if, then you guys agree. But what about the boxers? The boxers. Or the briefs. The briefs. And, oh, and High School Musical Yeah, too. Corbin oh. Blues, your sexual awakening. Yeah, to all of them. They, I, there were so many boxers in High School Musical too, bro. I was losing my mind. <laughs> losing it. What's the what, what's the one song? Fabulous? Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm just like, no, no, no. no. I'm like uh, insulted. I, I, I know. Okay. Fabulous? And, and you know what? And you know what? After you guys bring it to my attention, I, I truly, like, this is how the disagreements go. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. We bully her we, into she changing bullies the mind. Me. You guys have yeah. seen it in real time, and I submiss into it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but because you're bringing great facts and great numbers and the boxers I did not <laughs> contemplate. And a part of me actually obviously likes number two more than number three, but I thought that I'd get more out of number three because it has more of a budget. But right. like now, thinking about it. Oh, you want to fuck? I want to fuck number two? two, kill three, oh. and marry one. It's okay. We agree to disagree. Yeah. And um, this might be the last episode of 20 whatever you ever see. <laughs> So. <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> so then I saw, wow, was, it, was it Faith your question I think you I just think you destroyed just... the podcast <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> All right, right. It's like I single, I, I single, I single handedly, yeah, ruin twenty whatever <laughs> on our anniversary. Yeah. On oh, my birthday, you brought oh. a birthday present to my birthday. Oh my god! Okay, it was my birthday, was my, my stupid, stupid birthday. birthday. Uh, uh. Pete was playing that in the car yesterday. Oh whatever. my god! Yes, yeah. Oh, Ali and AJ. Okay, this one is from Anna or Anna. How has it been a year? I watch every week and you all do such a good job in making all of us whatever watchers. And then in parentheses, I just made that up. Winky. I love winky that. Face. Whatever. Watchers. Whatever. I watchers. love whatever. Wa- write, whatever. Watchers. Write, write that, that down. down. Write that down. That's good. But also say it five times fast. Whatever, whatever watchers, whatever watchers, whatever watchers, whatever watchers, whatever. Watchers, whatever, watchers, whatever. I can't count. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Irish wristwatch. That's hard. The human torch was denied a bank loan. That's I'm si- sorry. That is Sierra's warm up on main <laughs> channel videos. She'll sit there and I'm behind camera. She's like, the. <laughs> it's only Anchorman quotes. Yes, it's just the Anchorman quotes. Oh, I'm quotes. screaming. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it started yeah. as a bit, but now I'm com- like, that's a bit I'm doing in my everyday life. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. That is no, that's so okay. funny. That's okay. Derail. The ro- whatever watchers. Whatever watchers. You make us all feel so at home and included. I have a pretty good drive to and from work. I teach fourth grade. And on Wednesdays, I get to decompress by listening. 
My question is, how has the podcast changed y'all's life? Has it made it easier because y'all are getting your feelings out or has it made it more stressful? I love y'all, Anna or Anna from Alabama. Oh, Anna, Ooh. Alabama. Anna, yeah. Alabama. <laughs> I feel like I figured out a lot of stuff about myself on this couch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Genuinely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Just from like talking through it and then being like, oh, I guess I feel that way type of vibe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And also listening to you guys talk. Oh. I think it's been I don't want to call it like therapy because, you right. know, right. Like, like therapy. 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 therapy, real therapy yeah. is important. <laughs> right. But it is therapeutic to sit down and have these conversations. And I think. I, I can't remember if we talked about this online or offline, but I feel like it kind of like, especially for me and Paloma, because we only met like six months before we started the podcast. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like fast tracked our friendship mm-hmm. because these are the conversations that sometimes take you years, right. decades even yeah. to like mm-hmm. really dive into with your friends. Yeah. And it's really like deepened my bond with you and really like fast tracked our friendship. Mm-hmm. And it has really impacted me in like my own personal growth and my own like personal journey of just self-discovery and like feeling comfortable in who I am Mm -hmm. and figuring things out because of the conversations we've had. It's been amazing for me personally. Damn. Uh, Retweet. Uh, Yeah. Well, that was so good. That's crazy because I feel the same way. (laughs) Yeah. I definitely think I found the more vulnerable topics at the beginning stressful because I was like, I don't want to (laughs) like – I don't want to talk about this. I just want to like shoot the shit and laugh. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to talk about how I feel about my body. I don't want to talk about my mental health. Like I don't want to do that because then I have to address it and then I have to talk about it, which is something I don't want to do. But because I, you know, push myself into talking about it and feeling comfortable enough to talk about that with you guys and you guys being open has made it, I wouldn't say easier for me, but definitely more, What's the word? Um, I guess comfortable to even sit with myself and think about those things that I was avoiding Mm -hmm. that I had to like we when we did the bikini body episode, I remember being like. That was the last one I prepared for because I pushed it off. I was like, oh, I have we need to do these other things, whatever. And I prepared for the other episodes and I was waiting till the last second to prepare for the bikini body episode because I was like, I don't want to do this. And then sitting there thinking and like preparing for it, I was like oof oh damn okay i'm like this is gonna be good it's gonna suck uh, but it's gonna be so good and it was so good Mm -hmm. i let out a cry in that episode which was crazy but i knew that like i needed to do that and i don't think i would be doing that really to this extent without the podcast so it's made dealing with my own feelings and emotions about myself and like just situations a lot easier to deal with Yeah. yeah yeah i feel like for me it, it actually has helped me and not like not just as a person like you're saying like the therapeutic aspect but I feel like as a creator and as everything mm. because there was like I feel like a level that I didn't even realize until now that I feel more comfortable that when we first started the podcast there was like a level of uh, a fear of being misunderstood mm. and I and I think that that's why I also held off on posting on my other social media and ever and just like all the platforms because I didn't have control of like how people could perceive it or Mm. just being so fearful of being misunderstood because I know how shit gets taken out of context and all that stuff. And I also personally still to this day, like I struggle with like, I feel like I get uh, tongue tied with my words. And so I get like my, my mind gets ahead before my mouth. And then I was like, kind of like seeing that on camera when Mm -hmm. I first started and I was like, Oh my God, like you just have to just feel more comfortable and confident and like, give myself the ability to take a moment and speak eloquently and chat with you guys and not feel like I I don't even know how to describe that but that essence of that is like so gone now and I just feel so I'm I'm okay if I'm misunderstood like and because there are people in this world that are committed to misunderstanding me Mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna do what I can and stand in what I believe in and if you're down we're Come along. Right. <laughs> Freaking snaps. Yeah, that. that was really good. I feel very similarly to that in like sharing online. There are things I share in the podcast that I would have such a hard time finding the words for in like a vlog or a main channel video or even like right. on an Instagram story. Right. Mm-hmm. I think because it's a conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I feel so much more relaxed in it and it feels so much more natural. Like even talking about like religion and a little bit of like me deconstructing my faith and like figuring that out like I still don't know how I could talk about that outside of the podcast online right Right. because when we all talk about it it feels 
easier. Also, I think because the podcast viewers are watching a long form conversation, I don't feel like I have to explain it super concisely and super perfectly. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's just a conversation. Right. You know? And if I don't have the perfect words and like the perfect takeaway and the perfect like punching ending to like explain it all and wrap it all up, that's okay. Right. Because that's not what this is. Right. Right. And that's what it feels like and what it would be on like a vlog or something that's like only 30 minutes when we're like having a long term. And also I feel like unless your entire vlog is that one topic or conversation, like it's like are we just throwing this in at the end? Like, what are we doing with <laughs> right. this? You know I what know. I mean? Like, that feels like even, like, a sit-down type of video. Like, that's yeah. that's the great thing about this long, long-form long content. We can literally have... We can talk forever, ladies. Yeah. I mean, you see? Uh, we, yeah. we go on and yes. on. Yes. But we don't have that in, like, that short-form content. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next one is from Isabella. How do you balance working together and being friends outside of the podcast? When you hang out, does it feel like you're with coworkers? Can't believe it's almost been a year of my favorite podcast. I love you, Isabella. Love you. I don't I'm feel like, like we're coworkers at ever. All. Ever. <laughs> yeah. But like when you hang out, does it feel like you're with coworkers? No. no. Even when we're working, it doesn't feel Could, like. But like actually picture, imagine if like we went from like cock and balls talking about like that on the couch right now and then like outside and we're like super chill and like co-worker vibes like yeah. i don't know we've i feel like we've crossed the line with yeah people, i don't yeah, know definitely <laughs> i'm glad you guys feel that way too because that's how i've always felt but i you know you never know if that's how everyone else is feeling because right. to me i'm like also i think it helps when we have we always do like a sleepover or like a night out or something like after filming right and so i feel like it's like yes this is work but we're still chit-chatting yeah, yeah. and then we don't we don't usually film or vlog the after part that's kind right. of like our friend time yeah yeah, yeah. i also feel like there's really like the difference between that like this is work but the difference between this kind of work versus like a traditional job is that there's really no way to do it wrong Mm -hmm. so like no one's gonna be like you messed up this thing this thing this thing and all all this part like we really just get to sit here and like be ourselves and like that's the job yes and also i think that uh, like the word coworker kind of gives like the impersonal thing where you like a coworker doesn't really know like everything that I spill on this couch. Right. 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 And so I don't think I could right. even like put like that label of like, coworker right. to me and Sierra. Like there's no way. Like, right. I, yeah. Like it's like, baby, I showed you my butt. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I'm talking about like, it's like yeah. at this point, like I've showed my ass. Girl. Yeah. Like I can't. Right. Right. I think the That's only true. time it feels even the slightest bit like coworkers is when we're doing like, like calls, like, like planning Zoom. strategic. Like, yes. Like meetings. Yes. And, yeah. like, and then like, I yeah. do feel like we put all naturally switch into our more like, professional and like yeah all right so looking at the agenda for them yeah, like we do yeah. kind of do I, I, yeah. that yes and then we show up here and we're like <laughs> yeah 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 that's yeah. the only time yeah I, I agree i agree it feels like we're just like hanging out all the time and there's just like cameras and stuff yeah. sometimes there's mics in front of us sometimes they're sometimes not sometimes there's not yeah that's a, that's really the difference if the, the mics are there if they're not they're not it's the same but it's like the same I fe- conversations I, I feel like at lunch these are the same conversations like mm-hmm. we, it really is the same on and off camera like yeah. jess said when she cuts she thought we'd be silent but instead <laughs> we're breaking out into song can't stop and you and you genuinely would think that we would stop because we've been talking for hours but it just never stops it's just overflowing and that goes to show how strong theater kids are and that's on period <laughs> period all right this next question is from olivia she says for p and r has there been a notice noticeable shift in your day-to-day lives since the exposure you've gained over the past year like is it pretty normal at this point to be approached while you're out no no yeah no it's no. only if we go to disneyland it's, or like it's a concert. literally only if we're in like a very huge, public huge space public. yeah and it's like one or two people yeah but i don't think my life well my life hasn't really changed that much other than i get like a ton of dms now like <laughs> every day yeah yeah that that has been like the most significant change it's just like the amount of conversations i'm having with y'all mm-hmm. on a day-to-day basis absolutely D- just love talking with you guys in my mm-hmm. dms and like interacting through stories and, and stuff like, like seeing that. you guys seeing people that like recognize me outside is like a really cool but really weird experience it's like i forget that like there are real people watching like and that like live in the world that are like real people. No, right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm like I know that people listen to the podcast. Like I'm aware, right? And I talk to you guys online, and like I know that. But then to see you and you be like, oh my god, I, I'm like, you know me? Like you know who I am? That's weird. Why? How? <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I have a podcast. Yeah. Right. That's what we're doing here. But other than that, I feel like it's pretty much been the same. I do more content now, but yeah. and I talk to y'all a lot. But do you feel like your family members ask you more about it at like? 
you know, family gatherings and stuff. Because I feel like when I started my channel, that was like the go-to thing that every family member would ask. Oh, about. yeah. Yes. So how, how's the podcast? How's, yeah, yes. that's the first thing. Yeah. How's that the is podcast the, going? I'm like, amazing. amazing. Uh, listen, uh, uh, grandma, grandpa, don't t- listen don't to Don't listen it. to it. <laughs> but it's going well. But it's going well. Yeah. I'm like, if you have tw- 20 whatevers, 30 whatever, 40 whatevers, I'm like, just Grammy, just don't be telling your friends respectfully. <laughs> but they totally can. But I'm just like, I'm saying cock and no, right. But you know who our number one fan is on the podcast? Lori. Lori. Oh, Lori. my mom's so right. She doesn't watch. She watches a lot of what I do, but she doesn't watch everything. She never misses an episode of 20 Whatever. Oh, my gosh. I can't say it anymore. Lori, <laughs> I I'm know, so I'm sorry. sorry. And I see you, and I just and, smile. And I know. I, I know. So, oh, I'm, my gosh. But I'm, you know what? This is who we are, and she loves us anyway. Yeah. Oh, so I it's okay. You, Lori, please. And I, know. She, I, I can't. I can't remember if I told this on the podcast, but I was in Vegas with my mom. And this viewer came up to us and was like talking to us and she like only watched the main channel stuff. And my mom's like, oh, do you listen to the podcast? <laughs> and she was like, she's like, oh, I, you know, I didn't know that she had a podcast. And my mom starts like telling her all about it and like why she's a 20 listen. whatever commercial. Yeah. She's like, oh, my gosh, it's amazing. You have to listen. New episodes every Wednesday. And like they talk about so many amazing things. And it really just feels like you're sitting in the room like you're um, she ride or dies for 20 whatever. honestly Our Lori's girl. single-handedly gonna get us to 100k <laughs> she is she's gonna be telling like all her friends at like out at lunch like, right yeah. subscribe are subscribe? you subscribed <laughs> what about you P? I think uh just like Ryan mentioned it like just being in the dms and being able to have those like one-on-one conversations whether it be in the dms or like on stories that's like mostly the engagement but if you ever do see us outside of Disney or concerts please say yeah. hello like we are very eager to meet you guys like yeah. I would love to meet all of you and hang out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was one thing I was like excited for, but also like nervous for to be like, oh my God, like what if I see people? Like, I know. What if I they know. see me? I know. I'm excited about that. I, I think know. that that like I do, I'm much better in person. <laughs> 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 so I just like want to do like that in person thing mm-hmm. and just like the vibes, you know? Yeah. You know, oh, do, yeah. You feel the vibes? Yes. <laughs> I, yes. I think all three of us would love to do like something in person with you guys at some point, like yeah. maybe like early next year or something like that. So yeah. we have time to plan it. Even if it's not like a show or like a meet and greet, like right. structured like that, like just like renting out Hang like out. A, a karaoke bar. Yeah. yeah. And like, everyone can come yeah like, that would be so we'd have fun. so much fun yeah that'd be so would y'all be into that i mean yes. i'm sure you would yeah, but let, let us know. know if y'all would be down for that but also like point. a full like show would be fun too I mean, like, i'm yeah. not opposed i'm to like it. yeah you guys want to hear me sing yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> okay next question this one is from jamie happy one year my name is jamie been listening since y'all started so my question for you ladies is should i approach kenny ortega at a wedding i'll be attending i'm sorry um, hold on a second wait 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 wait. there's more to this oh. but i would like to emphasize kenny ortega is in all caps of course it is okay moving forward this says omg i know right reacting to us reacting of course <laughs> Oh, of course i love how you guys talk about him on the pod lol what an icon this is a celebrity proximity like you guys were talking about <laughs> here's the tea my nail clients i'm a nail tech fiance's uncle is kenny ortega they are pretty close with him and have gone on vacations with kenny and of course he's coming to their wedding which i will also be attending i would love to talk to him but what do i say and how do i not make it weird high school musical was my childhood so like i can't not meet kenny right correct yes Okay, ladies, how are we approaching? You should ask him if he watches Twenty Whatever and know if we have a shrine (laughs) built to him on our set. Slip our info towards him. I think (laughs) plan of attack. Don't approach him before the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Let him get there Mm -hmm. and and let the ceremony happen. Yes, midway through cocktail hour because that's you're mingling. People are going up to people. How do you know the bride and groom? Yes, but I'm going to tell you from my own experience. I'm going to write this down. Don't pretend you don't know him. Yeah. Someone gave me advice at the beginning of my YouTube journey. Another creator was like, don't ever tell someone who's famous that you know who they are because it's like, it's unprofessional, right? It makes you, it makes you seem like you are, you know, like an like obsessed fan. Girling, you're fan right. Yeah. Mm. Like don't, don't, uh, unless it's like a meet and greet, like mm-hmm. if you're meeting right. someone, don't tell. And I'm like, okay. So I started doing that. That's freaking weird. Don't do that. To like pretend that to you don't pretend, know. To pretend. No, it's it's yeah. it's not genuine. And honestly, for me, I love when people tell me that they are a fan of what I do. Right. I love it. It's so fun. I'm sure it happens to Kenny Ortega a lot more than it happens to me. So right. can't promise he'll feel the same way. Right. But like, don't don't be like, so how do you know the Well, I guess you can ask him how he how knows the know? bride and yeah, groom. Yeah. But you know. And then you can I feel like you can be like, yeah. I'm a big fan of your work. And maybe you don't have to be like, High School Musical was my life. Like I would. <laughs> but 
I feel like, yeah, I'm a big fan of your work. Like, it's so awesome to meet you. I'm, you know. Yeah. And you could even tie in the like, you know, that, you know, the bride is your nail client or right. how, what the connection is and be like, yeah. And I've heard, you know, so many amazing things about you and like the vacations you guys have gone on together. Yeah. And then be like, and then there's this podcast called 20 Whatever, (laughs) and they talk about you a lot, so you should check it out. And then write it on his hand. (laughs) Yeah. Right. (laughs) Then slip it in his back pocket with a 20. And then, yeah, 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 exactly. You you just hit him with, have you ever considered being a uh, guest on a podcast of three huge high school musical fans? That's (laughs) crazy, though. That's I mean, I would lose my mind. That's kind of best case scenario to meet someone like that. That's absolutely, because it's not, yeah, it's super chill. Like, it's not your fault that you're at this wedding with him right you and like, rarely know like a lot of people like if unless if you're like a part of the family or something like if you're like right. somebody like yeah. just chilling yeah. you're like oh who are all these people i have mm-hmm. no idea Definitely. how do you know the bride how do you know the groom Co- cocktail vibe reception time when everyone's just like hanging out and it's like cool yeah definitely not before the ceremony because that's like aggressive i feel like yeah we just got here we're here we're here for love or but whatever. like if you make eye contact <laughs> you can kind of like smile at him like yeah and let him know like i will be approaching yeah, you, you know you know who he is <laughs> yeah keep it on the more chill side at the beginning like, and then just unleash like ryan with allison stoner <laughs> right. like yeah. ryan with allison stoner and maybe a bit more chill <laughs> maybe a bit more chill but yeah same vibe same vibe <laughs> all right this next one we have from erica will 20 whatever do a live show i'm finally in a place where i can come see you guys live i would be so excited or do like a meet and greet type situation well erica so erica. glad that you are in a place where you can come see us now right that's amazing i feel like eventually at yes. some point we would love to do a live show it's meet and greet situation but i think just like you mentioned before doing some sort of like let's just hang out and vibe type of thing could be in the near future. I don't know. And that that would probably be like an easier thing to kind of test the waters, see mm-hmm. what yeah. people want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But I would love nothing more than to like get this group together because I feel like what is so special about the podcast community is, yes, I'm sure you guys would be like excited to, you know, meet us and hang out with us, but also like for you guys to meet each other mm-hmm. and right. like to, yeah. that we can all hang out. It's yes. not just like. We're going to like step and repeat and like take photos with people like we're, right. we're, we want to hang out. Yeah. Right. We want and you we, like, guys to hang wanna out with take each pictures. Other. Like yes. we're definitely trying to take pictures. Like yeah. Get wrong. Look. Yeah. And look, we learn TikTok but. trends really quickly. So if you have anything you want to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. They're going to be having us do like all the TikTok dances. I'm screaming. You know, who actually no, be right. doing that all the time. Selena Gomez. I like really? I, there's like fans. All, she's always doing TikToks with fans. And I'm like, I know she's not Corey. Like she's not right. asking to do this. She's just right. Being, doing it. Being in the TikToks. Right. So. Listen, okay. We could all do the hoe down throw down together. Period. I Period. think that that's necessary. Strut? <laughs> Send it. We just play all all, the, the all D- decom like yeah. musicals and we just dance we take and party requests. all night. Yeah. We, we do. Oh, oh my gosh. That would be, be so, so dude, fun. I'm getting too excited. You know, know how people will do those like it's like a club but it's like a Disney Channel night or something like that oh, and yeah. like, play like yeah. remixes? Yes. Yes. I've always wanted to attend Listen, one of those. We could host one. We of could them. host it. You're so right. And then we could play what we want to hear. Could you imagine? Like everyone taking like a cute little shot after like what's happening? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Like yes, I don't know. Playing just... the Jonas Brothers like year three thousand like oh, in a club like with bro. all of our people and like lights. Yes, Steve, Steven's back there doing the lights. <laughs> He's EDM. Yep. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Send it to the press. Yeah. I love it. Oh, okay. This is from Olivia. She says, "Hi, babes. Live here. If you had to pick one show to all be in together." What would it be and who would you play? Cast each other. My best friend Chrissy and I love the podcast so much and we talk about it every week. Love you guys. Aww. Thank you, Olivia Thanks. and Chrissy. Yes. We always talk about Legally Blonde because that is something that like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like there's rules for us. But also, right. I don't want to forget about Heathers. I just, those are the two I want to put on the table right now. Yes. What, what two do you, do you have any you want to put on the table? Legally Blonde was the first one that popped into my head. Okay. Yes. For sure. Okay. Um, I think Adam's family would be a fun one for us all be in. And I think that I could cast everybody right now. (laughs) Okay, how about we each pick a show and we have to cast it? Okay, period. Okay. Which one do you want to do? I will. Can I do Legally Blonde? Yeah, Yeah, I'll do Adam's. I'll do Adam's I'm going to do High School Musical. I know you guys have already been in it, but it's just so easy. No, absolutely. Go. So, Legally Blonde. I'm sorry, but I have to cast myself as Elf. Yes. Of course. As you you should. (laughs) Um, Ryan, who did you want to be again? Pol- no, this are- isn't, you're not asking. No, I know, but like, this is my show, so obviously if I'm casting it, I'm like, what, but who what role do you want? Brooke Wyndham. Oh, I played her. my God. It. That's right, you did but play did Brooke before. Okay, cast, you're already hired. Period. You have, you're perfect. Damn. Paulette. 
I oh, mean, duh, well, ugh, yeah. what duh. are we doing? Duh. What, what are, we are we doing? doing? I need to hear Agreed. Ireland from here. And I also feel like we need to put Steven as the UPS guy. <laughs> oh so, my God. So he yes. can go up to, to her and yes. be like, I have a package. package. Right. Right. And then them have that little. And then you, can, you also thing. get to hold Bruiser. That's true. And because Bruiser would be Bruiser. Bruiser would be Bruiser. Absolutely. And if Jessica- Wait, is Bella? Is Bella? Uh, Bella's what's Paulette's the other dog? dog? Yeah. Paulette's dog. Winston yeah, yeah. or something? No, what's his name? I'll find out. Well, I've uh, taken the dog. Yes. Bella. And then Bruiser yeah. can be Bruiser. Bruiser, Bruiser. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. That's I love so that. good. That's so good. <gasps> Rufus. 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 And can we have Jess as Vivian? Yeah. Look, yes. I, that's what I was going to say. I, like, I do not have the range for that, though. Why? I appreciate it. I want to be a gender bender Emmett. Because his <gasps> oh song's gender bended. I'm Dude, sorry. Yes. Chip on your shoulder. <gasps> Send it Oh, my yeah, God. You now. guys doing chip on your shoulder. Okay, if we do a live show. A se- period. Insist. It, that would be so good. Uh, yes. Oh, fool. Our live show is just going to be a cabaret. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's like we're not even going to beat podcasting. There's we're going to no be podcast. literally singing. Yeah, no. And there's okay. going to be dance numbers. You came so. to hear us talk? Psych. Psych. Yeah, you're going to hear us sing. Oh, my God. That's so good. So Ooh, good. That's really that. good. Okay. Jess, send- I'm so glad you said that. I am also <laughs> so glad that you said that. Yes. Okay. Adam's family. Morticia. Yes. Yes. Wednesday. Thank you. Yes. Alice. Tell me you don't want to see Waiting. this bitch on a table, like shaking the house down boots, like going off the part Tell the me. part i want to see her do is like the waiting and taking her waiting clothes off yes! Donna and what? Yeah. like when she's like crawling on the table and just like letting sierra Girl, would you, eat it's that literally up. a would role so meant fun. for you i was thinking uncle fester but oh, I, well, i'm sorry I mean, that role's already taken yeah that role's taken <laughs> that that i honestly i was gonna i was gonna say the moon in me oh um, yeah i was i was i was i was me with so the little good. parasol so good tell me that would not be Oh no. I, no, 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 we have to. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine. Ooh. And then, and then, and then, Sierra, yellow is the color. Oh, like that's so like, like, no, that would be not... so good. Okay. That would be so I think good. I have to add it to the dream rolls list. You, you should. should. No, you, you should. should. Alice, you should go great. back and listen and, like, just really, like, take it all in. Because... Alice is so Alice funny. Is and role. when she's played well, it's... people love, people, like, love it, her. Like, if she's played well, she gets a standing O every time. Yep. Also, her songs slap. I feel like vocally, I would love to hear you in that. Yes. I also love, like, a featured role where like you like you said you have the opportunity to like really Mm -hmm. bring something special to the show but the show isn't riding on your shoulders right right. like that's kind of my ideal (laughs) i feel that i love like a fun featured role where i get to belt a little bit yes yes that (laughs) and you get to be in like the quartet of like crazier than you thing so like that is so fun like i love when like you and i i know this i know okay i'm getting too excited i know i want to i want it now all right how much are the rights i know i know (laughs) Okay, High School Musical. Okay, High School Musical. Obviously, Gabriella. Boo-boo ass, boring ass. <laughs> God. But you were so good. Now, I know you've played, I was going to say Monique, but right. Monique, it's Monique Coleman playing Taylor, Taylor McKessie. McKessie. I know yes. you played Taylor McKessie. Yes. But I want to see you as Sharpay and you as uh, Evan. Char- no, Evan's is the last name. Why can't Ryan. I? Ryan. Sharpay and Ryan. <laughs> Sharpay and Evan? Am yes, I Sharpay a and Ryan bio Evans. queen? Yeah. <laughs> I would love that for us. I would love to sing, um, what I've been looking yes. for. <laughs> Could you see their little <laughs> hands? Yes. yes. Bop, Bop to, the to the top. top period. And I I would love, I love like, it. just, like, just low-key being like, oh, I should be the star. Right. I no. push to the side. Yes. Because <laughs> originally I was going to say Jess is Kelsey. Because she oh. is, like, the Kelsey. You're the playmaker, She Jess. is the playmaker. <laughs> God, that line. I'm sorry that for line. the gagging noises. No, right. I mean, we all know who I'm going to be playing. Miss Darbus. The theater is a temple of the arts. <laughs> we need it. We need it now. We need it now. Immediately. We just need a Troy. Let us yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Who the application is in uh, the comments. Yeah. yeah. So. What if we just did like an entire production of High School Musical and just like, kind of wrote Troy out? Like we don't really need him. I think that's he's just Ken. Yeah. He's just Ken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's just, Jess, do you just have one? I would love to cast you all in Mean Girls. Oh, oh. Well, that didn't even cross my mind. Okay. Except I love. It want. Okay. You could all play any of the roles. So I'm definitely thinking I want to see Paloma's caddy. Mm-hmm. Katie caddy Heron. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Um, I'm casting myself as Damien. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Ryan, Regina. Yeah. And Ryan. Sierra, I hope that you like this because this is actually my favorite character in the show vocally. Janice. Yes. yes! That's what Wanted. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like, really but also imagine, but imagine Best. the two of you, Sierra and Jess, like they all, like all their scenes are together. Oh, we'd have so oh, much yeah. fun. 
That would be iconic. Low key bullying Paloma. <laughs> yeah, as well. <laughs> it's all of us just <laughs> bullying Paloma. You're a jungle freak. Right, right, right. <laughs> Listen, that's like pretty much what goes on on a daily basis. It's all of us just <laughs> bullying Paloma. We'll say something, and Paloma will just stare at this like the wall and be like, "I am being cyber bullied." Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I, I like that, like that a lot. lot. I just need to get vocally ready. Girl. Because holy shit. Like, World There's Burn, so I said, I, what if I just pose the whole time? Yeah. Like, I could do that. Yeah. I'm like, let me Make just it give a facial. <laughs> yeah. The, the world's, world's burn. burn. <laughs> yeah. It's a spoke. It's a slam poetry. It's a slam poetry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great question, Liv. Thank you. Yeah. Well, do we want to send it home with one last question? Yes, oh. let's. Is it me? I think so, yeah. Am I the one? Is it me? I'm the <laughs> Is problem. it me? Is it me? Am I the drum? Okay. This is from Emily. Hey guys, my name is Emily and I'm from Canada. Oh my God. International. Mm. <laughs> You'd love to see it. I love the pod and watch all of your channels and content religiously, even before Sierra had grace and you guys started the podcast. I was wondering if you guys had to sum up all of your episodes and give us 20 whatever girlies one piece of advice, what would it be? And before we answer it, this also says, again, I love the pod. Thank you so much for making me feel heard and seen in the world. It's so dark sometimes. I'm sure I speak for a lot of us viewers when I say I have tr- you have truly changed my life and I look forward to watching every week. I don't Emily, even know what to say. The world is dark sometimes. And we do hope that at least one time a week we can make you all feel heard and seen and maybe laugh a little. I kind of want to give which which what is what I feel like I learned in this past year, which is like be yourself and do it for you Mm. do ultimately do it for you and just like always think like really listen to yourself and your heart and body like what do i want and go after it yeah i was thinking something similar just like live your life for you because at the end of the day you go to bed truly with yourself whether you're married or whatever like doesn't even matter you go to bed with yourself and yourself alone and you have to live your life for yourself and not for anyone else because at the end, you only have yourself as well. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think that's my biggest piece of advice. I mean, I hate to just piggyback off you guys, but I really think that has been the most transformational thing for me, the most freeing thing that I wish I could go back. And it it ties into so many different things, right? It's body image, it's friendships, it's relationships, mm-hmm. it's self-image. Yeah. And it's even just pursuing your things that you want to do, whether it's a career or a hobby. It's just like, it's... It's okay to to just be you. Yeah. It's okay to just show up as yourself. You don't have to exist to impress anyone. Mm-hmm. Like you said, at the end of the day, we all live on a floating rock in space and we don't need to take it so seriously. Like, yeah. I wish I could just tell myself to just relax. Yep. And let myself be a silly little goose. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. that, yep. at the end of the day, I think that's one of the core things about me. And why why am I trying so hard to be cool? Right. When I'm just a silly little goose. Right. Yeah. And we're yeah. glad we've had like this space to be silly little gooses together. Like, yes. Silly little geese. Like, silly little geese. Yeah. Like <laughs> you guys give me the permission to be silly and yeah. to be myself. And you guys giving me like you never told me or anything, but like I feel like I've been given the permission to be myself. And so I for me, baby. On that note, I think watching you guys do it and I think how you guys started it too, because this idea was born on you all realizing you had such different lives but you all I had so many shared experiences and I think right. it's sharing those small moments of yourself really helps you find yourself and your people mm-hmm. yeah yes if you don't share who you actually are mm-hmm. what you actually think what actually matters to you how can you find people that think the same right mm-hmm. how can you find people that relate to you and that like accept you for who you are right and I think that it comes back to that like if you're pretending to be someone that you're not you're either g- you're gonna attract people who mm-hmm. are not there for the real you right and it's not their fault right no yeah yeah you know? yeah, yeah. we talked about that like how can anyone really know when you haven't given them you yeah mm-hmm. they're friends with the version of you that you show them mm-hmm. and not who you really are and ultimately that doesn't benefit you or them yes and you guys make me feel like i can just strip everything down and be my weird little self like <laughs> my favorite thing is when you guys go <laughs> <laughs> like, that. like I do something just so weird and stupid and out of pocket that you guys yeah. are like, girl, Sierra. yeah, yeah. This bitch is funny. Yeah, <laughs> bro. She really is. I, when we get together, I truly have like the biggest belly laugh. Belly like, laugh. Truly, yeah. truly, yes. truly. Yeah. Ugh, what a space. Yeah. Like all of this. It's been, it's a blessing. Truly, it a blessing. truly. I am so 
appreciative for it yes i want to say Thankful. happy one year anniversary to us yeah yes. to you guys we would not even be here a year if it wasn't for your support yes and love i do also just want to say a huge shout out to who is often the unsung hero of this podcast which is jess yes. <laughs> jess like is our podcast stage mom like she is yes. the backbone of this show and it would not exist without you yeah. and i just i i want you to know and have your moment of like how special you are to this. Yes. Me crying on the pod. Not you yeah. crying. We got her to cry. We got her to cry. I know. I know. Zero days. We love you so much. I'm so proud Literally. of the three of you. And thank you to Stephen, who was not here, but originally pitched this idea. <laughs> That's true. True. That's true. Thanks to Stephen for the idea. Yes. <laughs> Boo Stephen, but also thank you. <laughs> we'll keep him around. We want to thank you guys so much for joining in on this episode. We cannot wait for another year of laughs, of tears, of joy. And we cannot wait to see you next week. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.